Ready? Get set. I try to find form that is some reflection of what I'm thinking about. And the thoughts are complicated. I mean, they're about art, they're about my life, they're about experience. One's life has some meaning and significance to others if you can communicate what you experience. I think that's what artists do. Sculptors do it with form. Yeah, I like it. What I wanted to do in the exhibition is have this kind of torrent of energy on a diagonal. And by using that diagonal, you're expanding the space because there's greater length in the diagonal than cross or this way. So I think you really have to go in and see the situation, have cooperative people to work with, and then you can actually get it done. Even if we go with white, I can do white but I wanted a solid piece. You know, I think the way the pieces are suspended and how tense they are, how loose they are, all that is a real experience and something you synthesize and either you respond to it or you don't. I wanted to fill the space and not have a stage and, you know, see how the work unfolds and how it rejoins and reconfigures from different points of view. You know, I think they're all, you know, it really does change as you go through it. Liveliness is my goal. That's what I want. I want lively work. It's nice to be given a space where there's, there's a history of the space, of people showing here for years and years, really interesting work. You don't work in isolation. You may make the work in isolation, but there has to be some active, critical discourse. I mean, I wanted this thing to explode within the space, to maximize and utilize the space, and to be a kind of upbeat, but not conventional experience. I like the installation. I think it's one of the more satisfying things I've done and challenging. Ideal point of view is the back corner in terms of looking at the piece <laughs> in a more practical way. <laughs> <laughs>